Dealing with a Karen can be challenging, but witnessing one in action can be entertaining. Grab your snacks and enjoy today's dose of Karen shenanigans. Imagine living your life this paranoid. Or I'm calling the cops. Call now. Them. Call them, miss. I hate your guts. Get the hell off my land. You close up the box. When the cops get here, the if you call them, you you're get getting the hell off my You're land. getting arrested for threatening to shoot me. You realize that, right? You are criminally trespassing on no, my land. No, we're locating you're underground facilities. With somebody's box that isn't even and that company. We, we recorded you saying that too, so we can use that when the cops get here. So call them. We under we locate underground facilities, miss. This is our job. You're supposed to show ID. I can show you my ID, but you called you me. You show me ID you now. You called me too many names. I don't names. allow criminal trespassing no, on we'll my land. You, ID you show cops. me ID, this, both point, of you, no, point, or you are gone. Nope. At this point, we're showing it to the cops because you were rude and you threatened us. Yeah, yeah you threatened us. With you problem. just get the hell off my land. You threatened now. to shoot us. Get the hell off my land. And we'll tell you. And we'll tell you. move on. I'm never bigger in my life than that company. I'm sorry you feel that way, Miss, but it's not us personally. I'm busy. I don't have time. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. The people in this area have the right to see ID of the people on the land. You get lost. We're way past. We're way past that. We're way past that now. Yeah, get just call the lost. cops. At this point, call the cops. <laughs> Lady says she's a cop, and then goes on to claim this person cut her off illegally. Hey, you know, if you're a cop, there are measures you can take to prevent people from doing more illegal things. Why don't you do that, Miss Cop? You grow up. Grow up! Grow up! Grow up! Grow up! You stupid! I'm a grow follow up. you. Grow I'm a up, your mother! Oh, I got grow you up! You stupid! I'm Fine, I door. will call the cops right now. That's call fine. Up. Go ahead. I am a cop. Uh, My go son ahead. is a cop. And go ahead. ahead. You cut me off. Go. You stupid! Go ahead and call the cops. You cut me go off. Go ahead and call the what cops. The you go ahead and call the cops then. The the go cops. ahead and call them. You're, you're the a cop, you said. Go ahead and call you them. Cut me off. Go ahead and For call what? them. Go ahead and call you them. You said off. you're a cop. You're on a red you light. said you're a cop. You go ahead and call them. Go ahead and you call stupid. them. Get out the you car. You said you're a cop and you're over here getting out of your car no. trying to fight you, someone. You cut me off. Trying to fight someone you in the middle of the street. And you say you're a cop. You cut me off. You said you're a cop. My son is. You said you were a cop. No, I have it on recording. You well, said I'm you not. were a cop. I said my son you, was. I have it here on okay, recording. Okay, but my son is. You okay, cut me off Okay, then call him. And you're over here yelling Get at the in front of the car. in the middle of the street. Okay. With my son. With my son. With my Illegal son. Illegal immigrant. With my Get son. Out. Get out the car. Go ahead. Keep keep talking. Get out the car. Keep talking. You cut keep me talking. Off. I'm a citizen. I'm a citizen of the United States. I'm a citizen of the United States. I'm a citizen of the United States. You stupid me off. And yet white to people are the ones that are life. racist. And yet white people are the ones that are racist. You stupid <laughs> you cut me off. <laughs> okay. You illegal yeah. immigrant. You okay. I will make sure you, you go viral for this. I will make sure everybody I, I will make sure off. everybody you knows that you said you this. I am here legally. You I'm a citizen. Why? I'm a 30 year old. I'm a, I'm a 30 year old woman with a kid. You're you're acting stupid. You're acting stupid. I feel like I've seen this absolute cartoon character of a man in an episode of like Family Guy or something. I ain't no Russ. I'm sorry. You. All right, my. You. All right. Well, next time, I'll. Mm, Whoa. What the f you want? I'm sorry. What sir. you want? Nothing. Keep your hands in your pants, okay. you little. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You with me? You got it. Yeah. You got it. You f got it. Yeah. You see that truck? Yeah. Right there, you see that truck? Yeah. Yeah, next time you don't with that truck. I got you. got you. me? Yeah. You with that guy. That guy. You All don't right. with that okay. truck right there. You got that. I got it. No guns in that truck. You All got right. me? Alright. You got me? No guns in that truck. Yes, sir. Yeah, guns are right here. You got me? You got it. Tell your boys. They got Little it. Little boys. You got any girls in this car? No, a bunch of Don't with me. We won't. You got it. Yes, sir. All right. You. I'm sorry. I say, sir, to mother. You mother. I'm sorry. Yeah, just stop being. Okay. Dude, get a Ferrari. You want to drive like that? Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this guy's a doctor and he's treating a pharmacist like this, oh, I'm seriously concerned about the patients he works with. I feel you're discriminating against me. Why would it be discrimination? Uh, maybe because I'm Jewish? I don't know. What is it? <laughs> what? Every, like, what are you talking about? I'm not sure. Why would you not give me my medication? Um, it's because that there's no... We're not allowed to do it unless that person is in a clinical trial. For That's not care. true. I'm a prescribing physician for hundreds of patients. It's just not true what you're saying. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that unless it's given an, an approval. Who, who are you to make that decision? You're just a pharmacist. You're not practiced. You're not licensed to practice medicine or surgery. That doesn't give you the right to control how I practice medicine. It's an FDA-approved medication, and I'm allowed legally to use it off-label. That's my right as a physician. Who are you to infringe on my rights? You're not a physician. You're just a pharmacist. Your job is to carry out the orders of the physicians. Not exactly. I have to do it as long as it's for the well-being of the physician. I agree. I agree. It's so. not for the well-being of the physician. Who are you to decide that? There's no evidence of that. It's not for you to decide if it is. I think what you are doing is malpractice. It's malpractice. It's malpractice as a pharmacist. And I really have to wonder. Well, my wife is a clinician of law herself. I'm not here to talk about you. That. That's okay. Your wife doesn't set policy either. I would There's no evidence against that. I mean, again, it's not your role. Against the use of it's, again, not your role to make that decision. I'm a prescribing physician who is licensed to practice medicine in the state of New York, and you're not. You don't know your place. That's all. I, I'm sorry. I can't follow it. Because, and I, I'm asking you to justify the reason why you're withholding life-saving med medication from me. That's all. I want to know why are you refusing to give me my life-saving medication. So you're also writing it for, you wrote on the prescription it was for lupus? And how do you know what my medical condition is or isn't? Is it your role to know that? If what about HIPAA? For yourself, would you be able to provide evidence for you? I, I would, yeah. But I don't think that that's a standard of care to, to provide evidence to a pharmacist. I don't think that that's right. You don't do that with other people. This is not a controlled substance. This is an FDA-approved medication. So I'm asking you to present evidence to you. Again, and I have the right to use it off-label. It's my right as a physician. I'm sorry if you don't know the laws. The evidence is A1. The Any pharmacists out there? Can you confirm whether or not you can refuse to prescribe something? I'd love to hear some takes on this. That's what? So that's your opinion, but again, it's not your job. It's not my opinion, it's coming from the National Institute But it's not your job to decide if a medic... It's coming from PubMed, it's coming from up to date. So, There's so many clinical trials. I understand. So it's your opinion that this yeah, medication I doesn't work. I don't want my name on a, prescript, on a prescription that has been dispensed for something outside of the labels that has been actually been proven so you, and yeah. been shown to be... So you're saying, as a physician... As a physician, I think what you're doing is wrong. Okay, I hear that. I just want to understand. As a physician, you're saying that I'm not allowed to prescribe something off-label, and that's why you're not giving it to me? Off-label, that's kind of more of a gray area. I think it's because the state has told us specifically... Can, can I see that, please? Can you show me those, those statements? Because I think you're just making it up. So that is from the National Institute. That just says their opinion about whether the medication works or not. That's okay. They're allowed to have their opinion. But they don't govern how doctors prescribe. You're putting me in, in a situation where I need life-saving medication. You're not giving it to me. And for no reason. You're not providing any evidence except your own stubbornness and ego. And I, I think that this is criminal. Criminal. I still have the right to, to say no to a prescription that I deem to be, you know, harmful. How many times have you prescribed this medication? Given out this medication? Hundreds. Do you do the same thing for every patient? To children, pregnant women? We haven't given it to anyone for COVID. But that's not your role to decide. You're just a pharmacist. No, we follow... I mean, you're just very condescending. Just because I'm a pharmacist doesn't mean I don't know anything. But it's backed by... Um, evidence and from guidance from like just publishers. show me show me the evidence you're, you're, you're making statements you're preventing me from getting life-saving medication you, that's that is just a piece of paper from NIH state, stating their opinion that is not 
what governs prescription patterns. You're just creating obstacles. You can't fill it. Okay, so this is this is Walgreens Pharmacy in 306. This is a pharmacist. His name is, and he is refusing to give me life-saving medication, hydroxychloroquine, which I prescribed for myself, which I've been using for more than a year, and he's refusing to give it to me, and he cannot provide any evidence or to substantiate his claims. So this is Walgreens on 306. I understand a hard day's work can be tiresome, but let's not take out our frustration on the customer's bags for the bags under your eyes. This video made me realize that people with Scottish accents sound the scariest when they're angry. Did she just throw the sandwich that she paid for back? Call me again. Do it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Who answered the phone all rude? The fatty, greasy baby. Right, right, exactly yeah, because it was. That's what that is. Ha ha. Hmm. 
This is what happens when the Karen's only ally, the manager, is not on board with her. This unprofessional supposed manager just called me a, a customer. This unprofessional supposed ghetto person called me a called me a no, you're not going to call me a no more? Exactly, exactly. Call me a again. The supposed manager, the supposed manager just called me a The supposed manager just called me a And she's still in here causing a Bye. Let me see what car. Bye. Bye. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I don't care what you do. 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 It's not against the law to record. It's not against the law to record, Jasmine. It's not against the law to record. Touch me. I dare you to. I will call the cops. I will call the cops. I will call the cops. What is going on? Dude? I will call the cops. I dare you to touch me or my Who's phone. Talk? Who's touching you? Touch me. Who's touching you? Touch me. This manager is putting her hand in my face. Look at this. Who is putting her hand? I'm putting it in your face. Putting your hand in my face. Look at this. Putting her hand in my face. Yes? Putting her hand in my face. It's not against the law to record. The title of this video is Arguments on the W Train, but all I'm seeing are a bunch of L's. Y'all wouldn't get in trouble. What are you talking about? Stop keep that black people. Hey, it's Bradley Cooper's drunken doppelganger, Bradley Stuper. Do you know I work on Superior Night Tears? That's why I'm trying to oh, say. Oh, wonderful. Where do you work, love? I don't know what to tell you. Are you clinical or administrative? Yes. No. Huh? What do you think? I don't know. I've got no idea. You can't judge. I'm not judgmental. Why are you being treated like this then? Huh? Well, can you just not accept that you need to keep it like in my place? Sorry, I'm partially deaf. I can't hear you. I know what to talk to you. Have a wonderful evening. You too. Jump on. This guy was willing to take $300 to let these teenagers off the hook. Half of the price for the fine of trespassing. Interesting. I'm not a Democrat! That's it. Is this mass land? No, am I? No, it's not, and you're on it! I'm not on it. You are touching my land. You want me to move it out two feet? You want me to not call a game warden? You shouldn't have shot the duck. I'm a hunter, not a Huh? That's debatable. <laughs> I'm not hunting your land. Oh, you, but you're on it. We're not. Your corn's back here. We're on the beans. Is your touching my corn or did I take the wrong picture? Do you want me to pick up the grass that's touching your corn? 
Nice ridge. What do we got, Steve? Some widgeon? There we go. This is my land and I wanted to hunt it and you're on it! That's pure and simple! Don't even talk anymore! Hey, dude, come on. We got ducks working us, man. Give me $300 and I'll let you hunt here today. We're not on your land. Jacob, I'm filming just so you know. Okay. Perfect. Um, Give them tickets. I want there. If you, they're pushing it. I don't care what you say. Yep. That's seated yep. in here. They are on the line. They're pushing it. There's no reason for them to be on this line. There's a slew at that end, a slew at that end. You can. I think we're just going to just give them tickets. I'm just, they're on my line. They're touching the corn, as you can see. I got pictures. Yep. Take pictures. Yep. Take pictures. You give them a ticket. I want them ticketed. It. But I think if, if this were to come to a trespass and, and you guys were to be charged with something, it would probably be the non-criminal version of a trespass, which is just a fine. No loss of hunting privileges or anything like that. Okay. You That's know less I, than he was asking for him to go away. <laughs> I'll split the price for you to leave right now. I said pay half what your fine's going to be right now and I'll leave. Do you have that on video? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Is there a way you could send me that? Oh, video? yeah. Perfect. Animal control was called on this, Karen. These jokes just write themselves. Shut the f*** up. Hand me my ticket and get gone. What, what, what? Hey, guys, this is Officer Ledbetter. Get off my property. Get off my property. You're advancing on me. I'm going to call the cops. I fear for my life right now. Get back. Get back. Okay. Stay back. I need to go over I fear for my life right now, guys. Then hand my ticket right here. I'm not fitting to touch you or get anywhere close to you. You made threatening remarks to me. You have harassed me for a month. I fear for my life. I never threatened you. I fear for my life, guys. You guys see this? It takes two grown men to write me a grass ticket. After I've already been evicted. You have been evicted. Yes, I have! How long can you make it through this video without pausing? I capped out at 34 seconds. So, crazy question, uh, silly question, but I'm just curious. I know you don't like coffee. Yeah. And I know you don't. And I know you eat cereal in the evening. Yeah. And I know you have a son. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I know you're about early 30. That's what I've learned so far. I don't know, I think you're really cool. Uh, I know you have a son. I'll tell you, I, you know, straight up, like, I kind of feel very, like, I'm still on my end. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, there's, there's, there's something about you that's really cool. Uh, like, just casual, but I don't know if you would. Have pizza with me sometime or something. I'm but pretty sure your wife is not a pretty Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it's not your friend, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's cool. Especially yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Right. Right. No, no, no. No, no. I, that's why I said. Yeah. But, no, I wanted to be. Yeah, but, um, I, I won't say unfortunately, because, you know, being married is good. But um, sometimes you, I don't know, sometimes you meet somebody that just. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, I don't know, but yeah, like it's Nice to see how well the security guard is getting paid. Oh, 
Please. 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 Seven year old man, do we need a seven year old man? Seven year old man! Do we need a seven year old man? Seven year old, do we need me? Do it! Seven year old man, that's that good thing, mate! I'm seven years old, mate! I'm seven years old, mate! This is mate! This is mate! Easy! 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 Come on, my name is Camille O'Man. Hey? Good, my heart. Let's go, mate. Is it your mate, is it? Hey? Is it your mate? No, okay. Oi, come on, just do what you need oh, to do. Oh, we'll do all the work. Yeah, okay, that's all good. Just do what you need to do. No, he's making his way from his time. Oh, I'm so glad I'm clocking off right now.